Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, well, after spending about a week fattening myself up that I needed like another hole in the head, uh, back to get this thing running. Uh, I had noticed when I set, go to set the static timing, the distributor I had in it felt weird when I was put it in. So I go to check it out, pull it out, and take a look at it. Can you see that right there? See that thing broken. How does that happen? I don't know. I was probably playing musical distributors and it got broken or whatever. So I've got another AGI in it. So I can't put the headers on until after the wiring is on. Well, I could have, but it would be a hassle. I ordered this Mr. Gasket dipstick for the Turbo 350. Then I'm going to put it, get it put in. And a little annoying stuff like that. That seems to be pretty good quality. I mean, it's a dipstick. What do you want? So, I got that. I got the new rubber grommet. So, I'm going to get going on that, see if I can get that thing in. Then I can get the header on this side. Then I can start building the exhaust. That's exciting. Let's see how far we get. So, I'm working on getting the headers on. The header from the passenger side, they work just fine. They clear everything. On the driver's side, they're hitting the motor mount right down, way down yonder. So, I'm going to have to pull them back off and customize those a little bit. Headers are never fun to work on, but they give you a lot more power. They sound good too. Worst part about working on headers is either putting them on or taking them off. If you're not doing that, they're great. Other than that, they suck. Look at this head. I can see some work's been done on it. Because the. Uh, I can see the spring retainers are different. I'll show you. So this spring retainer is down. This is different. See, it's got like a two piece thing. There's one. That's a two piece thing. No, that's a one piece thing. There's a two piece thing. There's one. I guess the, uh, looks like the exhaust have different retainers. There's two exhausts. There's intake, there's intake, there's exhaust. Hmm, wonder what that's all about. I don't know. Another absolutely essential part of having headers is you always have to customize them. They always have to be modified. Just a taste. Let's see. Those are hitting right there. Right there. Very delicately. Very, very delicate. Let's see. Even blows. These are off an El Camino or something. They weren't for this truck. They are now. I watch Engine Masters do this and says it doesn't affect the flow at all. Beautiful work. Let's see what we got. Okay, now I just spent a whole lot of time dinking around with this carburetor and uh, <clears throat> finding the right bolts, had to use washers, blah blah blah, get the right vacuum port on here, and then I grab it. See that play right there? The 
See that play right there? Let's see if I can get it here. That throttle body shot. That's going to be a vacuum leak for sure. Well, I do have another one that I rebuilt the uh, the base plate on, but I think it, the top was warped. I'm not sure. Man, I might just try to go ahead and start it. I'm almost there. Let's see, I got the exhaust on. I need valve cover gaskets. It can start with that. Got the distributor in. The plug I got for the distributor cap uh, didn't fit in the cap, so I had to sand it all down and play with it. Finally got it to snap in. If it's not one thing, it's five others. Uh, pound out those, pound out the headers, cracked them. Had to weld those up. Uh, see if I can't get a bigger gasket so I can space these out or I may even get another flange like you're going to build headers for and double up on those longer bolts more nonsense either that or different headers okay what's next all right now I'm working on the power steering the pump now getting that on and because I don't have the correct bracket, I bought an aftermarket bracket. But I got to pull this pulley. So I'll show you how to do that. So this, this pulley, I think, is a Saginaw pump. I got to get these bolts behind here. So you rent, you, you rent this kit. It's pretty, it's pretty simple stuff. That goes there, that goes like that. Here's a little puller. This is just a this is just a threaded bolt. It's got a spin uh, sp the end spins. So that goes there. That goes there. You're too tight. Yeah, there you go. You put this collar on it. Keeps from coming apart. All right, it should come right off. We'll find out, won't we? The collar should have some kind of shoulder on it. There it is. That took some doing. Like most rental things, it works, but it's not the, it's not the finest piece of equipment. <clears throat> okay. So I pull all this other bracketry off.
There we go. Well, it's ugly, fire strength pump. Let me give this a quick cleanup. Okay, that kit goes on there like that. Pretty self-explanatory. Probably got my big head in the way. That's supposed to go up there like that. Looks like it's gonna work. Get these just snug here. There we go. Then they give you another another uh, spacer. In theory, look at there. It actually fits. on those I think that's gonna work out fine cool it's not a bad kit it's actually better than the original one the original one went up and connected to the exhaust manifold which I got headers on here now so that won't work let's see now I got those tight I guess I can put the pulley back on you can get to that with an end wrench underneath I think. That's a good looking bracket. Pretty clean. Now I get the rest of the pulleys on there and see if everything lines up. Okay, here I got the power string pump bolted up. That bracket worked out pretty well. It's nice and solid. I'll paint that pulley now that I got it on. <laughs> Why do it beforehand? I'm in a hurry. I'm going to take this ground back here and put up on the firewall. Something like that. put it right there that'll be fine easy to see I hate it when they hide ground okay I'm I'm getting close to being where I can start this thing I got a bunch of miscellaneous little, little stuff that's really annoying so and Get some oil in the tranny. Yeah, I put four quarts in there. Yow! Well, it's not leaking all over the floor. That's a good thing. At least not yet. Oh, I gotta get the transmission cooler lines hooked up. Otherwise, that'll be a mess. Yeah, something else. Every time I look around, there's some other reason I can't get it started. So I gotta get the radiator in it, or at least put the lines on it. Hmm. Well, I guess getting the radiator in won't be that big a deal. I haven't got valve cover gaskets yet. They're on order. They're coming. 
don't know how much that panel hold. Uh, there's about three quarts. I get it started, I'll only run it for a few seconds and shut it off and double check it. I think it'll hold a gallon to start off with, but I'm not sure. Alrighty, so. I found this radiator on the, I don't remember if it's Craigslist or Marketplace. It's actually for a, like a Land Cruiser, but it's got a nice thick core, brand new. It's a Champion, so it's a, it's a fairly decent radiator off of uh, Champion. They sell off eBay, I think. It's about the same size as the uh, original. Except I got a pretty good deal on this. I can't complain. So, how far away do I want to be? going to happen here. Wow, that fits almost perfect. Once in a while something goes right. No matter how hard I try. If I could get get away with using a mechanical fan, not this one, but it'd be awesome. Let's see. This is an 18-inch fan. Oh no way. No way. It's way down below the tank. interfere with the transmission cooler lines. And... Nope. Gonna have to be electric. Dog got it. Oh well. So that means I can mount it up higher where it's easier to get at. Right? That means I can take those studs out of the water pump, put bolts on there and bolt that pulley up and be done with it. Yeah, let's do that first. Yeah, I've been working on getting this radiator to fit. It's really close. I think I just about got it. We shall see here in a minute. Using the existing holes from the, from the old radiator, original radiator. think. I need to figure out some way to rubber mount this so it's not just solid mounted. <clears throat> I'll figure that out after the fact. I just want to get it in. So I get the trans cooler lines in. Look at there. Look at there. Cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> that worked out pretty well. Oh yeah, it's in. Cool. Now, this piece that goes across here. Where do I hide it? Of course it's right in front of me, that's why I can't find it. Like that. How's that work? It's not too bad. A little tight right there. I'll live with it. Cool. Get the radiator in this thing is something. When I dropped the rate distributor in, I thought I had it on top dead center, but I forgot I moved it around when I tightened up the torque converter. So it's not on top top dead center. So I gotta double check that. Uh, everywhere I go, more stuff. That looks really good in there. And uh, how much room do I have for the uh, fan? I got oh inch and three quarters, inch and five fifty sixteenths clearance. For the electric fan, I hate to do an electric fan, I'm just gonna have to. Oh yeah. All right, now cooler lines. All right, transmission cooler lines. I've never done these hoses, but everybody says they're the catch me out with the. Uh, AN fittings. Supposed to be the good, supposed to be the deal. Uh, <laughs> supposed to be the deal. Oh brother. Oh look at there, even give you a little wrench. A special little pretty wrench. Wow. All these pretty colors. I wasn't crazy about them colors but it'll have to work well I'm gonna cut this video off here because it's just too many things I'm not getting done what I need to get done as fast as I want to get done but I want to thank everybody for watching I sure I surely appreciate it uh, this is coming along inch by inch yeah I don't know thanks for watching take care